Two years ago, I got a divorce from a 29-year marriage, and it was horrible. Horrible. But everybody kept saying, it gets better. There's another side, and there absolutely was. But you know, it was hard going from this life that I had and having the support of someone, and then now just nothing. Um, it's me. And I know that that's not a rarity in this world, but... It's still a shock when it's you and you have to go through it. And, you know, I'm a teacher as well. And so my income is not <laughs> huge. And I found this $7 course online, what he was talking about. And it's life changing. Not only is it the financial benefits, but just learning a new skill, making this content and interacting with people, amazing. Wow, that was as pointless as it was vague. I mean, gee, when women put in for divorce, they find themselves at a financial disadvantage. I wonder if anyone out there could have uh, seen that one coming. Show of hands for everybody who knew. Bingo. I sometimes wonder if women, especially older women, understand that their feels don't translate over at all when it comes to, oh, I don't know, paying the bills, finding another man equally financially stable as their ex, actually having to stand up on their own two feet in a lifestyle below what they were used to. Oh, and that Richie has of saying a $7 course fixed everything for her. <laughs> Hey ladies, here's a uh, free course that will fix even more. It's called Wising Up and a Work to Make Your Marriage Last the Rest of Your Life. If you feel your marriage doesn't have uh, that much excitement anymore, then uh, you could take yourself to the movies and stay married. Moving on. If I can offer you any piece of advice going through a divorce is, and I really hope that someone takes this, you have to have realistic expectations for what you're about to go through. I'm not talking about the legal aspects of a divorce. I'm talking about the emotional aspects of a divorce, the separation. If you have kids having to deal with that, just grieving the death of what you thought you were going to have that you're not having anymore. And this is regardless of you initiating the divorce or someone initiating it with you. It is a process to feel whole again. And it takes time and you have to be super gentle and patient with yourself. Now, don't get me wrong. You could just jump into, you could avoid all of this and just jump into the next relationship, but your problems are still going to follow you. Your insecurities, your low self-esteem, all of that. So just do the work and be patient. Wait, wait, wait. Is this queen saying that when women decide to uh, put in for that female-led 70% plus divorce rate based on their feels, they have to uh, consider it. it will result into more of their fifis being hurt and it will follow them into their uh, monkey branching? Also, to my female viewers, don't think this gorilla didn't catch on to how this post-walk Halloween hanged in the line about even if you jump into the next relationship. Yeah, that's uh, not said by somebody who heard it from somebody who heard it from somebody else. Nope, that's coming straight from the source, like a prophet from the uh, scripture of screweth thy man in Western female court with great vengeance and furious anger. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I break your concentration? Ladies, let's not BS as it's no secret that Western women who decide later in life to break up their homes don't use logic in the least and expect their next boo to be the ultimate Prince Charming like if the guy came straight out of a uh, fairy tales type story. Well, maybe they did. The difference is they aren't the Cinderella's. Uh, They're going to be uh, eventually set aside like one of the stepsisters. Now that's a lot of damage. Moving on. The people we allow in our lives reflect how we feel how we feel about ourselves. The way we let people talk to us and treat us reflects how we feel about ourselves. Save a few relationships in my past, the majority of them, they were not good to me. They treated me poorly. They made fun of me. They made comments about things I did or didn't do for them. And I was thinking about that this morning and I was like, why would I allow anybody to treat me that way? My father spoke to me that way. I had past boyfriends speak to me that way, and I thought that was the norm because in our culture, to a degree, it has become the norm. And I don't mean to single out any man or any woman because certainly it's someone treating someone poorly, but in my experience, it was a man treating me poorly, and I thought that's how it went. She thought that's how it went. A man treating her poorly. Um, question, if that was how she thought how it went, how is that the uh, fault of the majority of men? 
For example, men start to date. They do what women say, like open doors, be a total gentleman, and it should lead to a, the beginnings of a relationship because uh, they thought that's how it went. And then reality smacks them harder than Sean Connery with uh, women using the them as foodie date while rushing over to Chad slash Tyrone's place for a late night smashing. And what are men told? Um, man up and deal in reality. Sorry there, my over uh, a decade post-walk Halloween, but just like men learn early on that their personal interpretation of how things go and the reality of how women play them like a fiddle is no excuse for the gripe she has. And that is if she actually was mistreated by men. I mean, we only have her side of the story. How dare you? I thought that's how it went because I watched it in my family and then I had that experience. And now that I don't... It's no wonder I'm waiting for the other shoe to drop, but this I know. My personal healing journey got me to the point where I can have this kind of healthy relationship with another human, and you bet your bottom dollar, because I didn't want to say it. Nobody, nobody will be in my life that treats me like that treats anybody else I know poorly. Nobody. I don't have the time for it. They have a journey that they have to go on. I cannot be part of that. If the interaction I had with them somehow teaches them something, then I played my part. Otherwise, mm -mm, no more. Okay, why exactly did she feel the need to post a video on the internet to say she isn't going to allow X, Y, or Z? I mean, sister, don't get me wrong here, but usually the people who draw the lines in their personal lives don't have to put it on blast. They just do what has to be done. Look, it's like saying you have had it with uh, the clunker you own and you are swearing to the world you are going to go to a car dealer and get a better car. Okay, just go do it. Actions speak louder than words. If you need to make a video to show the next man how much you aren't going to put up with, uh, he is probably going to think, oh, cool. Are you going to uh, put a video up of some jujitsu move you are going to pull on me if uh, you think I stepped out of line? Finish him. I'm just pointing out that putting one's personal business on blast like this is no replacement for therapy, no matter how awesome of a dopamine hit you are going to get. Hey, I would argue it's better to keep it between the both of you, but I'm just a gorilla. What do I know? Moving on. You want to hear a really f story? <laughs> so I'm in the process of getting divorced and it's not final yet, but the nail in the coffin was one year ago today after I confirmed that I was getting divorced, which I had all these red flags popping up that I figured out my husband was a covert narcissist and he was lying and manipulating myself and my children. He says, we're definitely getting divorced, right? And I said, yes, we have to. And he said, well, I have something else to tell you. And when someone tells you this, it's like an automatic punch in the gut. You're like, crap, what's he gonna unload? And it was exactly even worse than what you would think. He told me that the Thanksgiving after my dad died in 2009, when we were all at my mom's house to support her so she wouldn't be alone, that my mom tried to have sex with him. So I, how do you take that, right? That's some messed up information. He said he didn't tell me about it because he thought I would divorce him, but nothing happened. Now, I kept saying to him, if nothing happened, why would you think I would divorce you? And he didn't have an answer for it. Because I wouldn't divorce him if nothing happened. Wow, dude, that is messed up. I have got to say, this woman took a double punch to the gut with this one. Hey, I like to hold people accountable for their actions. And let me say, her ex-husband is a real piece of work for this one. But to add insult to injury, her mom was down with uh, jumping her son-in-law's bones. Damn! <laughs> Okay, first I have to start off by saying this woman must be extremely hurt to be hit with news like that. I don't think that's a uh, level of uh, betrayal that can be uh, measured accurately. And yes, ladies, I do understand that her mother may have been in a vulnerable time in her life having lost her husband recently and it is possible she hadn't been touched by a man in years. I got it. But her daughter's husband? I mean, put out an ad or make a dating app profile saying, uh, in desperate need of being pile drive, will travel. Note, 
I said this woman's husband was wrong. But if uh, this happened and her mother was a willing participant, I don't know which one of those two was the worst one. The uh, horn dog husband or the uh, thirsty mom. Ladies, regardless of how this story is going to play out, let this gorilla make his public service announcement of the day. Don't substitute costly therapy with cheap social media. It's not worth it in the long run. And the most important thing is you can't take it back once your story is out there. Well, let's listen to the rest of uh, what she has to say. So something obviously happened. Confronted my mother. She told me the opposite. She said that he, they were really drunk. He was making her drinks. They were drinking Captain and Cokes, whatever. My kids were asleep upstairs. I just started a job working night shift. So I wasn't even, I went to work had Thanksgiving dinner, went to work. These two are, are yucking it up, drinking. He goes into her bedroom and tells her, now that my dad is gone, my father, he's gonna take care of her. And he went in and took off her nightgown and she didn't stop him. The thing that uh, she also said is that they didn't have, we didn't have because he was so drunk that his equipment wasn't functioning. But if it was, they would have definitely had and they definitely did things together. I know it because he demonstrated it for me. He demonstrated what my mom did or tried to do with him. Yeah, that's how he is and twisted in the head. Later after rehashing and thinking about this, I figured out that he planned this. He wanted power over my mother. He wanted to isolate me from my mother. And that's why he told me. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. I understand about uh, her mom, but she's going to lay the bulk of the blame on him? Hold up. I'm sorry, ladies, but her mom is not some dopey teenage girl that wasn't capable of making her own decisions. I am not justifying the guy's actions in the least, as he was as wrong as he can be. But when it comes to a fault in a physical s slash x consensual act it's not 50 50 of how the blame goes it's more like 70 30 and the bulk of that blame falls on the woman's side because she gave consent none of my female reviewers don't agree with that but it is the truth a man has relations with a woman who permits it in the west this is why a woman's purity is valued so much more than a man's purity top of that getting lucky is far easier for women than it is for men in other words i am certain her mother could have gotten uh, some nookie from a guy she would meet at a bar far easier than her husband meeting another woman at a bar also i don't think he planned it out like she said if he would have planned it out they definitely would have uh, bumped uglies if anything i think he tried to take advantage of an opportunity he saw but he wasn't up to the task i also want to mention that i don't think he would have risked his marriage unless her mother was dropping some strong advances that she wanted him uh, that night ladies uh, don't even try to justify that cougar's action on the prowl because what he thought was going to happen that i would believe him and then not talk to my mother and not get divorced he then proceeded to tell my children that uh he was by my mom a Marine Corps combat veteran, 39 years old at the time, was a by a grandmother. Think about that. And he proceeded, he, he almost convinced my kids that my mom went after him. And they believed him for a while. Now they don't because he's a piece of trash. So I don't. So his goal was to isolate me from my mom, ruin the relationship with my mom and my kids so they don't have a grandmother now. I don't have my mother as support and I was going to come running back to him and I almost did. It takes seven to 10 times to leave an abusive relationship. And he almost reeled me back in, but he didn't, thank goodness. And I am thriving. But there's more to the story. So stay tuned. <laughs> assaulted and not so much but seeing the cougar taking shots at him that's more believable but why involve the kids in this and why is she absolving her mother of wrongdoing another thing i only heard a story of two adults that couldn't keep it in their pants i didn't hear abuse in the least in this story i honestly don't know more details of what happened but if her mom was willing to sleep with this woman's husband when the relationship was in better standing i wouldn't call that the strongest of support systems also by the way she 
clearly described it. I think her mom at least tasted her ex-husband's uh, sausage link. I'm sure my male viewers are wondering if uh, this was because the guy was uh, that desperate to uh, take a shot at some different uh, roast beef, or maybe her mom uh, back then was still in good enough uh, shape to uh, do another bull ride. <laughs> That image aside, I can only assume when it comes down to it, she is going to take her mom's side no matter what. Completely understandable, although I still say she shouldn't give her mom a clean pass for this. Not because her ex-husband is worth that. Because since both sides confirmed something happened, it does show the uh, links her mom is willing to go to be taken care of financially. And uh, let's be honest, Colleen in this video doesn't seem like the type to be rolling in enough dough to make sure everyone's bills are paid. I think if uh, given the chance, her mom would uh, try to uh, get slammed by the uh, next guy, uh, this Queen Gates, because it's obvious she will get off the hook. Or should I say... She will try to uh, get on the hook. What the hell you say? I'm just saying, if you enjoy this audit, click on the video in the end screen for more content. If you would like to support the channel, please follow the link in the description to donate to our beer fund. Or like, subscribe, and share this video on other social media platforms. If you agree or disagree with anything about this audit, please let us know in the comments. I'm going to leave this audit right here. I'll see all of you in the next episode.